was suffering from this um, this nerve problem called uh, trigeminal uh, neuralgia. So I couldn't talk, I to talk about that, and huge amount of pain. That that is one disease that basically uh, has the highest rate of uh, suicides. Over education, over everything, there's so much of pain. So seven and a half years, I suffered that. Trigeminal neuralgia, or in simple words, excessive facial pain. It's a clinical condition where patient gets severe, excruciating, episodic, sharp pain in different regions of one half of the face. Now, why one half of the face? That is because the two halves of the face are taken care by two different trigeminal nerves. This condition is also called by different other names. One of them is tic dolores. Now, why is it called so? That's because uh, because of the excessive pain, patients tend to have a lot of tic-like movements. That is why tic dolores. And at times the pain can be so severe and so distressing that on long term patients actually tend to develop depression and they may even commit suicide. That's why this condition is also called as suicide disease. Now in this video, let's try to learn more about this condition. Let's try to understand what exactly happens in this condition. Now there are sets of nerves which arise from the brain called as cranial nerves. To be specific, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. They take care of functions in and around the face and neck, except one of the nerves called as vagus nerve which goes down all the way till the abdomen. So the trigeminal nerve is one of such cranial nerves, it's uh, also called as the fifth cranial nerve. So along with other functions, it takes care of sensations over different parts of the face. Now, this is taken care by three divisions of the trigeminal nerve. That is, the upper part of the face is taken care by what is called as the ophthalmic division, the middle part taken care by the maxillary division, and the lower part by mandibular division. So, if you have any problem in the face in the form of, say, injury or some other disease, you feel the pain because of these nerves, which are branches of the trigeminal nerve. But at the same way, if there is some problem at the level of the nerve, then also you will feel pain in these areas corresponding to uh, the nerve supply of the face. That is called as trigeminal neuralgia. Now, when I say problem at the level of the nerve, it can be two types. One is extrinsic, that is something from outside causing problem to the nerve. Or it can be intrinsic, that is within the nerve itself. Now the most common extrinsic problem is compression of the nerve by one of the blood vessel supplying blood to the brain which most commonly is something called as superior cerebellar artery. So if that artery presses on the nerve on long term basis because of the arterial pulsations there will be changes inside the nerve and the nerve gets irritable and the patient feels pain in different regions of the face corresponding to the part of the nerve that got compressed. The other common causes of compression are tumors or tumor-like conditions, the most common being epidermoid cyst. Apart from that, other tumors like meningiomas can compress the nerve and cause these similar problems. Now when I say intrinsic problem inside the nerve, it can be what is called as demyelination as, as occurs in one of uh, a very common clinical condition called as multiple sclerosis. As I mentioned, pain usually occurs in one or more regions of one half of the face corresponding to the part of the nerve which got affected. Now this pain is usually not continuous but it is episodic and it can be triggered by multiple things. It could be touching of the face, shaving, washing of the face or it can be so severe that even a blow of air to the face can trigger this excruciating pain. And over time, patients tend to avoid all these activities which could potentially trigger uh, their pain. They tend to develop depression as I mentioned previously. They become hypertensive because of the excessive pain. and 
one very interesting thing that we notice is because of the area of the pain in the initial days it is usually misdiagnosed to be occurring because of some dental problem and most of the patients before coming to us they end up uh, having undergone a lot of dental procedures and may even be extraction of the root once the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia is established the next step is to find out the cause of this trigeminal neuralgia now let's not talk about the obvious thing that is if there is a tumor which is compressing the nerve and causing this problem the tumor needs to be excised let's talk about the common thing that is if there is a blood vessel which is compressing on the nerve and causing these problems what we do is initially we start them on different medications which are supposed to control the pain of trigeminal neuralgia now uh, these are the list of medications that are tried for the same the doses of which are gradually escalated till the patient gets adequate pain relief but usually there is a time when patients stop responding to this now that is the time when we have to think about other options now what are the other options available one of them is injecting different substances mainly alcohol or some other substances in and around the nerve or uh, for that matter even radio frequency ablation we pass a needle till uh, the nerve and then we inject this thing so in this what we do is we basically uh, sort of stop all the functions of the trigeminal nerve obviously then it stops relaying that pain sensation uh, the effect of this is not permanent uh, the pain relief the duration of pain relief is variable and varies from patient to patient the other option available is what is called as gamma knife therapy where we give a focused radiation to that particular nerve even here uh, the basic concept is the same that is we uh, sort of tend to stop all the activities of that nerve now but the best treatment or so called uh, the gold standard of therapy uh, for trigeminal neuralgia because of uh, vascular loop compression is what is called as microvascular decompression now this is an operative procedure in this procedure what we do is we make a small opening in the skull and then we reach till the trigeminal nerve when we find that the vascular loop is compressing the nerve we try to separate it and take it away from the nerve uh, this is the picture that you can see uh, from a patient who my operated a couple of days back so once we separate this arterial loop away from the nerve we obviously do not want it to come back again so we basically separate the nerve and the blood vessel by placing what is called as teflon in between the two now different surgeons use different things some uh, prefer to use a muzzle patch in between the two so the basic idea is that we are separating the compressing blood vessel from the nerve and then we are preventing the recompression by placing teflon in between the two now the the other photo that you see is not the final picture uh, unfortunately i don't have the final picture after this i had also made some adjustments in the teflon and also put muzzle patch and what is called as glue inside that so that the vessel sticks slightly far from the nerve now the results of the operation are usually good and the pain relief is immediate that is immediately after the operation patient just stops feeling the pain and they are usually very happy uh, but unfortunately the results of the operation too may not be permanent that is after certain amount of time patients can have recurrence in their pain it could be because of multiple things it could be that the teflon which was placed there got displaced and the vessel started compressing the nerve again or it could be that vessel loop just moved a bit and then started compressing some other area of the nerve whatever the reason may be but patients can have recurrence of pain and if they do have recurrence of pain then again all these options will have to be considered again that is they may have to undergo uh, injection or they may even have to undergo reoperation so this was about this distressing condition called as trigeminal neuralgia in brief i hope you uh, understood about this condition and if you like the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and for more health and wellness related videos subscribe to this channel